garage today, so that means we'll be doing another DIY. Today we will be reupholstering this chair. See the back's all out. Um, this is cane material, but I don't want to use that to repurpose it, to reupholster it, so I have some different materials. I actually found this chair off of Facebook Marketplace for free. It was a nice little sweet lady and she was just like, just make good use of it, take care of it. So that's what we're going to be doing. So materials, old chair. I have this poly foam here. I'm not sure if I'm going to really use it, but I'm thinking of putting it in the back here. And what else? Gonna need a staple gun. Spray, I'm spray painting it. You could do whatever to paint the chair. I'm using spray paint for the chair. And then I have some webbing just to keep it a more sturdy. So this is gonna, you know, go here, here, just to hold the weight and it won't break again. And some fabric. I haven't decided on my fabrics yet, but some heavy duty, some pretty thick fabric. You don't want to use a lightweight fabric because, well, it depends on how much your chair is getting used. So up to you, but I chose a heavy duty fabric. So those are all the materials. I told you what we're doing. And so first things first is to clean it. You want to clean every piece of furniture you ever get before working on it. You want to make sure there's no dust, sand, particles, nothing. So I'm going to get a damp cloth, set the camera up, and show you how to wipe this down and start spray painting. So my video of me spray painting actually got corrupted, so I could not upload it. But I simply just wiped it down and started spray painting. As you can see here, I'm taking the webbing and lining it up with the back of the chair and stapling it on both ends. I stapled it on one end first, stretched it because I didn't want it to have any looseness to it at all. I wanted it to be tight. And so I stapled one side first, stretched it to the other side and cut it off and then stapled the other side so it could be good and tight. I just used a regular staple gun. Um, it was my first time using it and I had a little trouble, it was a little janky, but we made it do what it do. To be sure I was making a straight line, there's little lines on the webbing and so wherever I measured that I wanted to cut it, I just made sure to keep cutting along that same black line going down. And I have on gloves because I'm a little klutz. You don't need them, but safety first. Um, I took this webbing out of some old furniture I had, but it's not too expensive at places like Ace Hardware. You can go to your local upholstery store and get the supplies as well. But the staple guns like 25 bucks at Ace Hardware. Um, I think I saw one at Walmart for like 22 bucks. And the webbing for a roll was a about, I want to say 15 bucks, but then again, that goes off of width and how big and how thick you want it. So I measured the back of the chair, it was 13 by 13. I measured out my fabric for the front and back, and I went ahead and sewed up the edges so there would be no fringy edges, it would be all clean. And I just did two, one for the front, one for the back. So now we're about to upholster. So we're gonna go ahead and do the back first thought the back would be easier to do first because it wasn't as puffy as the front with that foam. And I really wanted that foam piece there 
because I wanted a little extra support and comfort in the back of the chair when we're sitting. have it the finished product i added a little pillow for a little extra support at the bottom and there you go thank you so much for checking out my channel i hope you liked it go ahead and subscribe comment and see you all next week love you direct fam